Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Meta AI app. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offers just on this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how to exactly start using the Meta AI app here. Well, first things first is you want to install the actual app. So you want to open up Google Play Store here if you're using an Android device. Search for Meta AI and install this. But in my case, I already installed this. But again, if you haven't installed it first, but let's go and click on open. Now here, the thing with the Meta AI app here, as long as you have an account with uh, the Meta ecosystem here, maybe an Instagram account or a Facebook account, you can just basically use that account for uh, setting up your account here from Meta AI. Let's go and click on get started with Meta AI here. And from here, let's just wait for it to load up uh, in a bit here. Now it will automatically detect any accounts that you may have right now on the Meta AI, uh, Meta AI ecosystem or Meta ecosystem here. So in my case, I have my account here. Let's go and click on log in, and let's just proceed with the log in details or log in uh, procedure here. Now they might def uh, basically ask you to confirm your details here. Like you're going to add your username. Let's go and click on save here to save our changes, and that should save our changes here. Now, it should redirect you into the section here for Meta AI. It's going to allow for now. So, we have a bunch of options here. So, we have like five icons at the very bottom here, which allows us to do a bunch of things. So, first is we have our homepage here. Now, the homepage here allows you to basically interact with the AI itself. Now, the AI itself allows you to do a bunch of things like creating uh, images or just basically asking questions. So, it's an all purpose thing here. Let's just say maybe I want to uh, maybe like create an image of a rabbit holding a carrot just press enter here and basically it will do anything uh you are in this case ask you to do here so yeah so in this case it might take a while for them for it to generate some images for you but here it is like you also share this if you want to now Next to the other parts here. Now you also have the uh, discover section, which allows you to basically discover other, um, in this case, generated uh, or co generated content here from the EA itself. As you can see right now, now there's a video here. And also you have uh, different photos here that you may want to view. So it's just it's a great way for you to view uh, what's uh, new or what's happening right now on the Meta AI ecosystem. Now, if you click on the uh, history here, as you can see, this is uh, what we just recently uh, basically created. So if you want to basically go back to a previous conversation or previous creation here, you can go ahead and do that. Now, I also have the notification section here. So in this case, if anything happens with your account, you should be able to view that in the notification section. Now, if you click on the eye icon that has the plus button on it, in this case, uh, you have the option to add devices. So if you have like uh, meta AI devices that you may want to add here, you can go ahead and link them in here. Now, if you want to access your profile, you go and click on your profile at the top right here, and you have the option to change the interference, the notifications, uh, even access, help, and support here, the data privacy and app info, and legal safety. Now, if you also want to log out, you can go and click on log out here, but in this case, that's about it. So, those are the basics here in order for you to get started in using the Meta AI, but in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.